Hi guys. So today we're going to learn about the Cohen Sutherland line clipping algorithm. Um don't judge this algorithm by its name. Trust me guys, it's not as hard as it sounds. Okay, so let's begin. What is line clipping? Suppose we are given a window and we are given a line with the points as P1 and P2. And suppose this line is a, is is to be clipped against this window. then only the part of the line which is inside the window is to be retained and the other part is does has to be scraped off so in this case we only retain the part which is inside the window and i'm going to highlight it for you guys and i'm going to label it as p1 dash and p2 dash so this is my clipped line similarly if i have two points p3 and p4 my clipped line would be p3 dash and p4 dash okay so before we start and jump into the algorithm we're going to learn a few analogies um consider this four given lines as your four bits so the first bit from the right i repeat the first bit from the right is your first bit this is your second bit this is your third bit and this is your fourth bit okay so we're going to give each and every region in a near by a window so we have nine regions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so we have nine regions and we are going to give a code to each of these regions um we're going to use a rule called the l r b u which means left right bottom up so if a region is to the left of the window we set the bit 1 as 1 so we'll set it 0 0 0 1 set bit 1 if we have a line which is to the right of the window so we're going to set bit 2 as 1 so we'll have 0 0 1 0 set bit 2 if we have a region which is below the window we're going to set bit 3 so i'm going to have 0 1 0 0 set bit 3 and if i have a region which is above my window i'm going to set the bit 4 so i have 1 0 0 0 set bit 4 let's consider these regions this is to my left and to my top so my left and my top so i'll set my bit 4 and i'll set my bit 1 so bit 1 and my bit 4 similarly here this region it's to my right it's to my top so set bit 4 and set bit 2 so set bit 2 set bit 4 similarly if you follow the same order the same method you'll get set bit 2 so and set bit 3 so 0 1 1 0 1, and here i'll get set bit 1 and set bit 3 so 1 0 1 0 okay so let's get start um suppose we are given these lines p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 p8 which are to be clipped okay So there are three total possible cases. Case one: when both the points are lying inside my window. Also, one more thing I forgot is that we give the region code inside the window as zero 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 zero. Okay. So if I'm given the points P one and P two, which are totally inside, so I'll have to make a test. which will allow me to identify the points which are inside my window so the condition for that is both the points p1 and p2 should be equal to 0 
In this case, my P1 is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, and my P2 is also equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. And hence, my, both the points are lying inside, and hence, my line lies inside completely. Let's take the second case, when the line is totally outside, as in the case of P3 and P4. So for that, we take the logical AND of the points P3 and P4. P3 here equals to 0, 0, 0, 1. P4 equals to 0, 0, 0, 1. And now I have to take the logical AND of them. So 1 and 1, and one is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. 0 and 0 is 0. 1 and 1 is 1. My apologies. 1 and 1 is 1. So when when the logical AND of P3 and P4 is not equal to 0, they, are, they lie totally outside. Now let's take the case of partially inside, as in the case of P7, P8. Okay? So for partially inside, P7 and P8, we take the logical AND. Okay? So, um, P7 here would be, let's say, 0, 1, 0, 0. P8 would be 0, 0, 1, 0. So, if I take the AND, I would get 0 and 1 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0, 0 and 0 is 0. So, if I get the logical AND as 0, but my points are non-zero, 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 this means that my line is lying partially inside. You can try yourself for the point P5 and point P6. So P5 would be 1, 0, 0, 0. P6 would be 0, 0, 1, 0. And if I take an AND of it, so I'll get 0 and 1 is 0, 0 and 0, 1 and 0 is also 0. So as you guys can see, we got the logical AND as 0 and both P5 and P6 were non-zero, hence this point lies partially inside. So I hope all the three cases are clear, which are going to help us solve the next problem. Okay, so now we have to use the Cohen-Sutherland algorithm to clip the line P1, P2 against a window, which is this given here. I have plotted the points here, okay? And we're also going to plot the points P1 and P2. So P1 is 40, 15. So it should be lying somewhere around here. 40, 15. So it should be lying somewhere around here. Let's call this point P1. And we have P2, which is 75, 45. So that should be around here 75 comma 45 my apologies um, yeah that's right so 75 comma 45 and this is my point P2 okay so what is the region code of P1 you should be getting a hang of this okay so according to our first figure my P1 should be 0 0 0 1 what should be the region code of P2? It should be 1, 0, 0, 0. Now let's take the logical AND. So 1 and 1 is 0, 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0. Since, I'm, since my P1 is non-zero, since my P2 is also non-zero, but my logical AND is 0, this point lies the line lies partially inside my window and I have to clip this line between these two points known as P1 dash and P2 dash. So we have to find these two points P1 dash and P2 dash. For that first let's find the slope of the line P1 and P2. So slope is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and that will be equal to 45 minus 15 
upon 75 minus 40 so that turns out to be 30 by 35 So this turns out to be 6 by 7. Okay, and now we know that the point, let we, I'm just going to name this as A, B, C, and D. Okay, so we know that um, for the line A, B, my X coordinate is equal to 50, which remains constant. So we need to find the Y coordinate here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the equation of line to find the y coordinate here. So the equation of line considering the point P1 would be y minus y1 that is 15 is equal to m which is 6 by 7 m times x minus x1 which is 50 in this case. And my x here would be 15. So, in this way, I can find my y, which turns out to be 23.57. And similarly, you can find the point P2 dash. you can find the point P2 dash which comes out to be in the same manner okay so this is how you solve it and um, I hope you guys understood it if you understood it please give it a like and do subscribe thank you